Hi, this is MF Lab. So today I'll go through some introduction of how to undervolt and overclock the CPU. This video will mainly focus on the Intel XCU tool and have some introduction to the functions in this program as well as a short demo. And there are going to be some actual test results in this video that I conducted before shooting this video. The PC I'm going to use for the demo today is MSI GE66 Raider 10 SFS. It comes with the overclockable CPU, which is i9-10980HK. So the first step is that we have to unlock BIOS settings so that we can access the complete functions in Intel XTU. To enter BIOS on MSI laptops, after seeing the MSI logo, press the delete key a few times, then you'll see the screen. Then, go to the advanced tab. Press Shift, Control, Alt, and F2 on the keyboard so that the hidden items will show up. Scroll down and find the overclocking performance menu. Press Enter. In the menu, set overclocking feature to enabled. Then, find XTU interface and set it to enabled as well. After adjusting the settings, press F10 and select Yes to save the changes. The laptop will restart automatically. Next, in the browser, search for Intel XTU download. Select Download Intel Extreme Tuning Utility to enter the download page of the program. Click Download under xtusetup.exe to start downloading Intel XTU. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the program. It requires a restart after the setup is done. After the restart, launch Intel XTU. As soon as you launch the tool, the system information section will be displayed. You can see the information such as CPU, RAM, BIOS, graphics, operating system, and so on. Moving on to advanced tuning, where the bunch of the settings locate and users can adjust based on their preferences. For example, core voltage offset. The voltage of the CPU changes based on its usage. By lowering the offset, the CPU temperature will increase or decrease based on the setting of the offset. This is the setting I'll focus on in this video. Here you can see Turbo Boost Short Power Max and Turbo Boost Power Max. They are the so called PO1 and PO2 setting of the laptop. The next step that I'm going to introduce is benchmarking, where you can test the current settings with the XTU benchmark. The maximum frequency of the CPU and the highest CPU temperature during the benchmark will be displayed after the benchmark is done. In the Profiles tab, users can save the current profile and can even export the profile to share with others. Or if you like the settings from someone else, you can import and apply their settings as well. At the lower left side of the window, 
there's an area where people can monitor the performance of the CPU. Users can decide which parameter they would like to monitor. So what I'm doing here is that I will adjust the core voltage offset and compare the temperature of the CPU to see if the temperature is actually lower after I make the changes. To compare, first, I use the default setting, which is 0 volt, and I monitor the CPU temperature when watching Netflix. The temperature stays at around 59 to 63 degrees. Then, I do the same thing again, but this time with the core voltage offset set to minus 0.09. The CPU temperature stays around 52 to 56 degrees. One thing people need to bear in mind is that when adjust any settings in Intel XTU, make sure you only adjust a bit at a time to prevent the system from being unstable. For example, before I make the move to adjust core voltage offset from 0 to minus 0.09 directly, I made some other tests before and only adjust minus 0.005 each time and make sure the laptop won't crash after the adjustment. The following line chart shows the test result from the PCMark 10 test with different core voltage offset. This was a test done before I record this video. The chart clearly shows the average CPU temperature of each phase in PCMark 10 gradually decreases when the core voltage offset changes from 0 to minus 0.09. And from this table, it shows that besides the web browsing test, the difference of the average CPU temperature between 0 and minus 0.09 volt is more than 5 degrees in other tests. By adjusting the core voltage offset, it does help reduce the CPU temperature of the laptop. After the CPU temperature gets lower, you can then try to adjust the frequency of the CPU cores to overclock the CPU. Since if the CPU temperature is too high, it's easier that the CPU throttles and the frequency will drop to a lower value in order to cool down the CPU. To adjust the frequency of the cores, click per core and drag the slider to make the adjustment. And that's the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are interested and comment down below if you have any thoughts about this video or any other thoughts about overclocking and undervolting. See you in the next video.